happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. The Falcons playing on their home field, and they want to be able to keep this advantage going. As we get ready for this one, Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, and I think you hit on it, Gus, the home field advantage, because these two teams obviously match up very well against each other. So as the home team, you're hoping that you can sort of incite your own fans and get that energy in the building, because in a game this close, that well could be the difference. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. Kanan is ready to kick this one downfield and get this game started. And the tackle was made by Dent. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. McNabb with the give. Pick up a four. Brings up second down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Short throw to the right. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. By number 54, about six yards on the play. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. McNabb gives it up the middle. Chunk up a big gain and a first for the ball carrier on that one. Big play that time by a talented player. You can tell in those tough, clutch situations, he wants the ball in his hands. It's first and 10. They spot it at the 48. Toss. Hammered in the backfield. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense is big men. They won the battle. They're looking now at second and 11. Throws to his left. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. They line up at the 29. He's searching for a receiver. This is close. Did he come up with it? So after conferring, they give him the catch. And he shows some fancy footwork to get both feet in bounds. You know, I think he's part ballerina almost out there. Not only does he have the concentration to pull in catches, but he has 
superb body control that allows him to get both feet in, despite the fact that all his momentum is carrying him out of bounds. It's a combination that has made this quarterback very happy over the years. Makes for an easy target, that's for sure. Yeah, and a tough target to defend as well. The quarterback can deliver the ball in a place where either the receiver catches it or the ball simply goes out of bounds. Second and goal coming up. So, ball on the two-yard line. Ingram gets the carry left side. He's got it. Touchdown. No need to give it to a fullback down here on the goal line with this team when they've got a halfback that can cram it in there like that. Gano is good on the point after. Washington up seven points. Gano gets ready to kick it away. Number 14 stands back to field the kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. He brings it back to the 23. Rodgers was there for the stop. The offense will take over at the 23. First down and 10. Passes short right side. He's wrestled down around the 28-yard line by Fletcher. Douglas gains about five yards on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Has a man to his right. He's dropped down around the 30-yard line by Alexander. Yeah, that sets it up now for third down. We always talk about third down conversions, but if you have good second down plays, it gives you a chance to get into some blitz packages now on third down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. He's looking towards the left side. He's brought down right around the 50-yard line by a Togway. First down, 10 to go. Looking, fires it to the left. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line by a Togway. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Searching for an open man. Loads it up. Looking end zone. He drops the easy pick. That'll make it second down with 10 to go.
has a man out to his right. Is he going to score? He cruises in for the touchdown. I knew all he had to do was catch that one, and he was going to be gone. When you possess that kind of speed, it is a very difficult day for the defense. Better give him a little more cushion than that. And this for the tie. And the point after is good. Kanan is just about ready to kick this one away. Kelly is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. The stop was made by Moore. The offense will start at the 19. And we'll have a first down and 10. Drop behind the line. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Now they've got a second and 13 coming up. The ball is on their own 16. Decides the run. He finds a lane. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They'll throw for the first. And the more you talk to defenses and defensive coordinators, probably the thing that frustrates them the most is when a quarterback takes off and runs with the football. He's the one guy they would like to not have to defend. And from their own 34-yard line. Ingram gets the call. And the tackle was made by Parade Jerry. It's second down and nine to go. Ingram will run it again. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. It's first and ten. Ingram on the draw. The stop was made by John Abraham.
So they'll face a second and ten. Ball on their own 47. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Ball start. Offense. Williams is guilty of moving early. So the penalty brings up a second and 15. They hand it off. Uh-oh! Watch out! He's tackled right around the 42-yard line by Robinson. First down and 10. On the ground, up the middle. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by Sidbury. Second down and eight here. Ball on the 40. Inside handoff. Offense looking at third down, seven yards to go. He's got room. The field goal unit is on the field. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. False start. Offense. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. They'll start at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Dumps it out right. He's dropped down right around the 26-yard line by Hall. Jenkins caught that one for a gain of six. And just about four yards away here on second down. <laughs> Running out of time. Safeties who can rush on a blitz are such a dynamic force in this league. It is just so hard for offensive linemen and backs who are used to dealing with defensive linemen and linebackers to account for that safety. Third down, 12 yards to the first. They have the ball on their own 18. And that's the end of the first quarter. We've got a tie ball game. Welcome back to Atlanta. So it's third down, and they need 12 for the first. Go. 
Going up top towards the right. He's got it with room to run. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. Short throw to the right. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of a couple on the completed pass. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Goes through his progression. And they get to him. It almost looked like the offensive line didn't know who to block on that one. Sometimes the best part of blitzing is you create situations where the offensive line have to all think, have to all be on the same page. One guy messes up, and it's over. They're now looking at a third and long after the sack. Good coverage downfield. He needs to get rid of it. Steps up and immediately goes down. The sack brings up a fourth and very long situation. It bounces out of bounds at the 14. They'll take over at the 14. Now we have a first down. And 10 to go. Terrain off the right side. He doesn't get back to the line. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Facing a second at 11. The Rock is on their own 13. They might have missed time to snap on that one. False start. Offense. Williams is guilty of moving early. That penalty will bring up a second and long situation. Here's a pass over the middle. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Pass is short right side. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Now that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 14 fields it at the 37. He'll be stopped at around the 46-yard line. Pema was there for the stop. 
from their own 46-yard line. Passes out to the left. He bats the ball away. They'll face second down and 10. Short throw to the left. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. And when I saw the quarterback drop back that time, I really thought they had something going, but they closed quickly and made a nice play defensively to bring up this third down. Here they go, third down and eight. Ball on their own 48. Flips it out short, and he's able to hold on to it. They lose seven yards on that play. You got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little correction at the line of scrimmage, and they had that play pegged right from the start. It's fourth down. The Falcons lining up to punt. Starting back at his own 15. And he's knocked out at the 28-yard line. And he looks to be very seriously injured. That's a huge blow to this team. The offense will take over at the 28-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Terrain gets the ball. Four-yard gain. Brings up second down and six yards to go. McNabb hands off on the delay. Nice gain on the run, and he's got a first down. It's first and ten. Has a man to his right. He's brought down around the 43-yard line by number 56. The threat of the run is always going to make the play pass more effective, forcing them to respect the run, and that will allow things to open up downfield. They're looking at second down and six. Throws it to the middle. It's picked off. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Mark Legree was there to bring him down.
There's an injured Falcon, but this doesn't look too serious. They line the ball up at the 33. Ops for a short throw. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line by Alexander. White picks up about five yards with the catch. So second down. The offense needs about four for the first. On the ground, right side. And the Falcons will have a first and goal. The Falcons continue to go to the ground game, and it's been paying big dividends so far. This has really been something to watch. They're just inside the five. Ryan tosses to the left side. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. They'll line up on the five-yard line. He's tackled just outside the goal line by Fletcher. Big opportunity for both teams here in this tie ball game. Ball on the one, third down. Ryan with the give. He's wrestled down just outside the goal line by Landry. And this should be an easy three. The kick is good. Matt Bryant knocks it through and gives them a three-point lead. Atlanta will be kicking off. Hall is back to receive the kick. And takes off from his own goal line. The stop was made by Owen. They'll get the ball here at the 16-yard line. First down and 10. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Hicks is guilty of moving early. So the penalty makes it first and 15.
McNabb will hand it off. So it's second down, 14 yards for the first. He goes down, sack. So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. McNabb hands it off. The defense bent a little bit there, but still stopped him well short of the marker. And the running back says, thank you very much. I'll pad my stats a little bit, but from an offensive standpoint, that's a loss. They weren't anywhere close to that first down. And we're at the two-minute warning. The NFL on EA Sports will continue after this word from your local station. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Number 14 fields it at the 48. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. First down, 10 to go. So the ball on the 45. Looking for a man. Throws it deep, left side. And he drops the short pick. White was the intended receiver. They line up at the 45. Throws the deep pass. Leaps. It's caught. Wow. Fumble. And the defense is going to come up with it. Wide receivers are pretty good at catching the football. They're not always good at running with the football. It takes a lot of strength to hold on to that ball, and he gave it up. They'll start this drive at the 7. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Here comes the Heat. They give up the safety. I can't believe they just let that happen. How do you give up a safety in that situation? Unbelievable. Bidwell will line up for the free kick following the safety. Oh, 
He's dropped down around the 37-yard line by Moore. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 37. Has a man deep. And that play could have easily gone for six. And when you start to hit a couple of big pass plays, it really puts the defense in a tough spot. They no longer feel quite as brave coming up and defending those short passes. Good gain through the air will set them up with another first down and 10. Looked like someone might have jumped. False start, offense. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Good coverage downfield. He needs to get rid of it. Shovels his feet in the pocket, and he's sacked. Following the sack, it's now second and long. Finds a way to get rid of it as he's hit. And this quarterback's a pretty tough guy, but when you see those big guys running at you, it makes all the difference in the world. Now they'll face third and long. Ball on the 33-yard line. Pass is short right side. He's brought down right around the 28-yard line by Barnes. They call on the field goal unit. It's up and it's good. Matt Bryant is good on the try to make it an eight-point game. Atlanta is just about ready to kick this one away. Kelly stands back to field the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Number 14 was there for the stop. It's first and 10. Short pass to his left. Good looking screen pass that time. It could have gone for a little extra if they'd gotten one more block. That was close.
It's now second and five. The defense has been all over him today, so it looks like he's going to try to make some plays with his feet. Yeah, he definitely looks rattled out there, and that's not to say that this guy can't run, but a quarterback should really be thinking pass first and using the run when the opportunity is there. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. And looking right, he lets it go. He drops the easy pick. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. from their own 31-yard line. Number 14 takes it at the 33. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. Well, there's not a lot of time left here before halftime. Let's see what they decide to do as their offense heads back onto the field. Has a man out to his right. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. It's rule to catch. Roddy White managed to make it look so easy out there. There was never a doubt that he had that one. From their own 47-yard line. Looking to his left. He's going deep. And the pass falls incomplete. Not sure what the call is. Let's see what the flag is all about. First down. The field goal unit is on the field. And the kick is good. And as we head to halftime, our score is 18. Seven. Welcome back to Atlanta.
Atlanta will get it first here in the second half. And he gets the ball at the five. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 36-yard line. They'll take over at the 36-yard line. First down and 10. Gives it off. And the tackle was made by Phillip Daniels. A pickup of five. It's second down and six. Run, right side. Michael Turner can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. They line it up at the 41. Surveys the field. He's tackled at about the 35-yard line by Hall. Gonzalez caught that one for a gain of six. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled at about the 31 by Landry. First down, 10 to go. Looking, fires it to the left. Makes the reception and they knock him out. He picks up a first. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. And the Rock sits on the 14. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. False start, offense. First the down. offense is moving in the wrong direction after that. For this offense to be effective, they have to stay on schedule. And when you get a penalty like that, it allows the defense to begin to bring some pressure. Dangerous situation for the offense. He's wrestled down at about the 19-yard line by Arakpo. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Hands it off. Hammered in the backfield. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Looking at a third and 13 here. Ball inside the red zone on the 19. Fires a strike to the right.
And they'll attempt the field goal. This one from about 36 yards away. He splits the uprights. Atlanta is ready to kick this one off. Kelly is back to receive the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets it back out to the 20-yard line. Owens was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 20. And we'll have a first down and 10. Checks down to the short pass. He's dropped down around the 25-yard line. By Lofton, Armstrong catches it for a gain of five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 25. Terrain gets the carry. Jonathan Babineau was there for the stop. Four yards on the carry. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. It looks like there's a penalty. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Jonathan Babineau was there to bring him down. Those just really deflated defense. It's a frustrating part of the game, but you see it happen all the time. A guy trying to do a little extra to make a play. He takes a hard hit as he throws. And if you had a guy that big running at you, all you would do is just turn and hide, brother. I know you. It's fourth down. And the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 14 gets it at the 41. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. They'll set up shop at the 44-yard line. It's first and 10. Looks right. Throws. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on their own 44. Passes out to his right. Roddy White was his intended target. And that's a throw you just expect a professional quarterback to make. He doesn't miss those wide open throws like that very often. Third down and 10 coming up here. Throws to his left. Nine yard pickup on the pass.
So, it's fourth down. The Falcons ready to punt this one away. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. And this is a great opportunity to get back into this ball game. This offense needs to put a nice drive together right now. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. He's going to his right. Throws. It's tipped away. Great defense. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball is on the 20. McNabb hands it off. He's brought down around the 28-yard line by Decode. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. They pitch it. Turns it upfield. Room to run. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line by Moore. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Gives it up the gut. John Abraham was there for the stop. It's a gain of four. from their own 40-yard line. Hands it to the back. And he'll lose yardage on the play. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. And third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own, 39. And looks left, throws. Over the years, I've heard Donovan McNabb criticized for a lot of things, but nobody has ever criticized his arm strength. Still has the ability to get the ball behind the defense about as well as anybody playing in the game today. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. McNabb hands it off. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line by Lofton. Second and five coming up here. It's a quarterback sack.
The defense is really struggling on third down on this drive. The offense has already converted on this drive alone. Flips it out short. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line. By Dent. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Here comes the punt. No, it's a pass. They'll go to work at the 40. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ryan hands it off straight ahead. He's dropped down around the 47-yard line by McIntosh. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Turner on the run. The stop was made by Albert Hainsworth. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They'll throw for the first. He's going deep with it. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Fourth down. The Falcons lining up to punt. The ball goes into the end zone. Touchback. He'll take over at the 20. You would have to think that this is where they need to make something happen in order to get back into this one. The offense will start at the 20. It's first and 10. They might have missed time to snap on that one. False start. Offense. First and down. it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. He's brought down at about the 15-yard line by Bierman. Second down now with a long 15 to go. The give to the tailback. Number 21 on the run. Gain of 11. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. And 
they got him. And that sack will bring up fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on the series. Man, I'm really impressed by that guy out there. You know, you, you try to single block him, you can't. You try and double team him, you still can't block him. There are some guys in the league that are just too good. Fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. Number 14 will take it at the 35. He gets out to the 45. Pema was there to bring him down. He did a good job there finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that could really go right. They give it off here. He's tackled at about the 49-yard line by a Togway. And that's the end of the quarter. Our score in this one is 21-7. Welcome back to Atlanta. The Falcons have the ball and a two-possession advantage as we get set for the final quarter. Turner gets it on the inside. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. Michael Turner really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. First down and 10. Turner takes it up the middle. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line by McIntosh. They're looking at second down and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. Has a man to his right. He's wrestled down around the 27-yard line by a Togway. First down, 10 to go. And they'll spot it at the 27. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Second down and a long 12. Throws to his right. He's dropped down around the 18-yard line by Landry. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Short pass to his left.
It appears we have an injured player on the field. Atlanta looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. Here's a halfback. Michael Turner is one of the top backs in the NFL. He really is. Vision, awareness, acceleration, you name it, this guy's got it. The PAT is up and good. Atlanta will be kicking off. Hall is back to receive the kick. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. He gets out to the 28-yard line. Owens was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He's going to run with it. He's brought down around the 33-yard line by Beerman. Looks left. Loads it up. Lester Jean was the intended receiver on the play. Yeah, but you have to be careful making that throw. Sometimes those are easily intercepted. You did a good job getting out of there, but that throw was dangerous. Third and five right here. Ball is on their own 33. Looks right. Throws. It's a pick! He's tackled right around the 48-yard line by Armstrong. And we'll have a first down and 10. And ball on the 48-yard line. Turner gets the ball left side. Runs for eight yards. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. He's going to run for it, and he's got a own. And in most defensive schemes, the one guy that is not accounted for is the quarterback and it becomes so frustrating on those big downs if a quarterback takes off and picks up a first down
So they line up at the 35. Snelling takes the give. Boy, anytime this back gets a chance to see things develop in front of him and get a little momentum going, he is so effective. That time the lane was there, he shot right through there and picked up a big first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20. Inside handoff. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line by McIntosh. Second down and seven. Ball's on the 17-yard line. Searching for an open man. Savvy little move that time by the receiver to pick up the first down. First down and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Has a man short to his left. Touchdown, Falcons! So with that, they took advantage of the interception and added points to the board. Point after is good. Kanan is just about ready to kick this one away. Kelly stands back to field the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Peterson was there to bring him down. He looks more comfortable in the pocket than he did earlier in the game. Yeah, most definitely, Gus. He was forcing passes earlier in the game, but it looks like he's kind of settled down back there. The defense needs to figure out how to get to him like they were doing earlier in the game. Fakes the handoff and scans the field. He's wrestled down around the 26-yard line. By number 54. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. It's second down and eight to go. The ball is on their own 26. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. I think those are just embarrassing I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it I'm oh, sorry sorry <laughs> sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties dumps it out left he's dropped down at about the 23 yard line by Williams and this is when it's tough to play offense when it's third down and medium to long situation Generally, you're going to face a blitz situation, and your quarterback is now going to be under pressure and probably take a hit. Now third down and 11. And looks left. Throws. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. 
That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. From their own 23-yard line. Fields it, and he's hit immediately. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. First down and 10. Looked like someone might have started. jumped. Offense. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Has a man open in the middle. It's tipped away. Great defense. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. Now it's second and 15. Going deep toward the left sideline. He tipped the ball away. Jenkins was the intended receiver. They'll need 15 on this third down to move the chains. Ryan hands it off. He's brought down right around the 40-yard line by Golston. It's fourth down. The Falcons ready to punt this one away. Fields the punt at the 19-yard line. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not... At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. Penalty pushes them back to a first and 15 situation. He rolls out to his right. Moss was his intended target. Second down and 15 to go. Looks for the safe short throw. Donovan McNabb has a reputation as a bit of a wild thrower. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it looks like he's almost aiming the ball. If he just relaxes and just goes back to the fundamentals of his mechanics, I think he'd be fine.
That'll bring up third down and 15. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line by Moore. The big gain through the air sets up the offense with another first and ten. Flips it out short to his left. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line by DeCode. Just about three yards there. Boy, that's really a nice tackle on that play. Anytime you get man coverage on the outside against a receiver, you have to be able to make that one-on-one -on -one play, and he did it great. They line up at the 29. <laughs> Looks left. Here's a short pass. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. That brings up another third down attempt. Tucks and runs. He's free. And we have a flag on the play. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. And I really didn't see the hold there. You're starting to sound more like an offensive lineman every day, Gus. You know, the reality is there really is holding on every single play, but the rule changes now allow for guys to grab within the framework of the body. You just can't reach outside that framework. Going for the home run! And the field goal unit out to try this 44-yarder. Looks like someone on the offense All tried start. to get an early start. Offense. And it's Repeat. so embarrassing to jump off sides for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. Sometimes you just forget. And he makes it. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Washington looks ready to kick it away. Number 14 is deep looking to return the kickoff. Line drive kick, very short. It looks like there's a penalty. He's wrestled down right around the 42-yard line by Pema. They'll take over at the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Turner gets the call. He's dropped down at about the 43-yard line by Hall. Now we have a first down and 10 to go.
Turner on the give. Cuts back and he's dropped. Number 33 with the carry. David Wash. They spot the rock on the 42-yard line. And we're at the two-minute warning. The NFL on EA Sports will continue after this word from your local station. We've got second and nine yards to go. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Handoff up the middle. He's brought down around the 37-yard line by Alexander. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. And will replay third down. Tough spot for the quarterback now after that penalty because now the possibility of seeing that added pressure is really heightened. Turner gets another handoff. He's tackled around the 41-yard line by Arakpo. Fourth down. The Falcons are lining up to punt it away. As they come back onto the field, what are your thoughts on what they should do here to get back into this game? They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Short pass to his left. The pass is tipped away. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. On their own 20-yard line. And they get to it. It's so frustrating for an offense when they think they know what's going to happen with a specific blitz package. You work against it all week. You come out in the game, and you fail to execute the protection, and your quarterback pays the price. So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. They might have missed time the snap on that one. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one.
That penalty pushes him back even further. Third and very long here on this play. Going up top. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Not a very creative sequence of play calling that time. They just never seem to get anything going on that drive. Standing on their own eight. Number 14 fields it at the 48. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. They go with the kneel down. That concludes our game, but stay right there to catch the post-game wrap-up. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.